Hey everybody, it's Ty from K2 Data Science and Engineering. In this video, we're going to build a Python class that will serve to pre-process our data as it comes from the Redis store to our Flask dashboard. As always, let's review the pipeline. So we've already done the first three steps, and now we're going to work on the fourth step in terms of formatting the data. So let's dive into the code. Now I'll just show the Redis store first, and then I'll show the actual class. So the class will just be called tweet. So we have this file tweet.py from tweet import tweet. And then where we use it is when we're loading the tweets. So when we load the item, we do json.load. Now we have a Python object, and then we create an instance of that class with the data. So let's take a look at the class. Now this class merely has helper methods to help with displaying the data or formatting the data. So right at the top we have our init, the data, we're just setting the data equal to data. And then these are all the items that we extracted so we can do data sorry wrong file in the Twitter filter data we can do data text your screen name name subjectivity polarity and so forth so we're going back one thing we can do is we can create a user link so we can just format that and when people click on that then they can go to the users page so we can create a link to everyone's page on the dashboard and we'll just create that using string formatting. Um, and then we'll want to filter the text. So essentially what this is, it's running two subsequent functions, filter brands and filter URLs. And what this does is the bottom function, this is a very convoluted regex. There's probably an easier way to do it, but this finds any links. So if it's HTTP dot anything, and then replaces it with a A tag. And so we have a clickable link in HTML. That's what that does. And then what this does, so it's, it's basically nested. When we run this filtered text function, we run self.filter URLs on self.data text, and then we run self.filter brands on what that returns. So what filter brands does, and I simply used a Python string method, but you could also use regex as well. Basically I said to look at the brands we have and then iterate through that. If the brand is in the text, then replace that text with a mark tag. So a mark tag is HTML5 spec, it adds a highlight. So the word will be in black text and then highlighted in yellow. And then if the brand isn't there, just move on to the next brand and then return it. So essentially what this filtered text function does, or method, it runs two other methods and it makes links clickable and then highlights the tweets or the, the brands mentioned in the tweets. And that's all this class does, but it's nice because we we can kind of create this class and extract out the pre-processing logic instead of having all this processing logic and code within the Flask app. So it's a, a good way to separate out individual parts of the application in separate files that all call each other and are recomposable. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll tie everything together and present the working Flask application.